Mm -hmm. Still, like, going game three last year with Spargo, player four, you know, like, all, like, the good top New York players like to play with him, because like, he's good, he's good, you know? Mm -hmm. he's, he's super just, like, good. And he plays a character that I feel like you don't see that often, so it's nice to have that, that, that matchup experience against Peach. But let's not, let's not forget that Kugo's, Kugo's Roy is also Kuga. pretty, like, nefarious to play against. Living legend. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, uh, I mean, Roy Peach is actually a matchup that I feel like people might think Roy really likes just because you're like a swordy who can swat out Peach really fast. Mm -hmm. um, but a lot of Roy mains aren't huge on this matchup. I mean, Cola opts to use Cloud instead of Roy against uh, Peach. That's true, players. that's true. Yeah, so um, I think it's mainly because like Peach is just able to kind of position outside of at least the hilt range really well. Like maybe she can get like hit by like the noodle tipper, but regardless, it's hard for Roy to like get a really big combo string going on Peach as such. Like she can kind of always make it so his combo game is cut short. Oh my god, but just like that, there goes Kuga's first talk away, away using the, I think it was Peach's, I want to say, fair. fair? Yeah. yeah. No, it, it was a really smart fair because, mm -hmm. um, uh, player four threw the turn up on the shield, and so after Kuga shielded the turn up, it's kind of everyone's instinct to drop shield afterwards, mm -hmm. and Peach has time to just immediately jump fair to catch drop shield, so it's really good positioning, but you can even this up kind of quickly with Roy. Oh, especially with that. Oh, bummer you couldn't get a follow-up, but keep it up. Yeah, Roy is, a, Roy is one of the characters that, that can really rack up a lot of damage in like a really short amount of time, only because he has a lot of jab attacks and he has a he has a bunch of like just strong attacks um, from himself. But it's that it's sometimes it's, it's just his recovery that can kind of like make or break the character. So usually you won't see Roy's willingly go off stage unless they know they're gonna like make that hit. And that upbe is not gonna cut that percentage, even though I think it should. <laughs> it's just, it's so it weak. Kill at 70, it but. should against like Peach. Definitely. Not, I, I, I'm gonna say this. I'm literally secondary Roy. That should not kill at 70. No, no, no. I, I the, the upbeat just feels like it's just a more just a, a powerful it attack. It feels stronger than it is, yeah. But it's so weak. I'm just like, what? It's very. The thing is, it's really diable because mm -hmm. like if you hold away on it, you get straight to the corner, so you just have a lot of time. But uh, Kuga is bringing this back. He like has not gotten like hit by a peach string in a hot minute. The really nice uh, like peach so strong with tomahawk landings, like mm -hmm. to just go and grab right there. Oh. Oh. And that's a Roy. That's a Roy. That's a that's a Kuga special. You know, Kuga's a Roy aficionado. He studies the tech. That's something that like your average Roy would not know about. And good on Kuga for taking this uh, back to like a really even game. We really have to have player four work uh, work a lot harder to close out this this uh, game and really take the first win for himself. Right here, I feel like this is gonna be so pivotal. It's if Kuga can get back from this ledge situation, yeah, straight it could up. end right here, but has not yet. Yeah, player four taking great control control of center stage and really keeping trying to keep Kuba, Kuga off the sledge. But you know, the instant I say that, it gets completely reversed and Kuga is now kind of taking up most most of the center stage and punishing a lot of what uh, uh, player four is attempting to do against him. And Peach can easily die at 86 against Roy. Like, uh, Kuga not too keen on like Jairus, like does mm -hmm. not practice him too much, I know you said, but um, oh, oh. rough DI on that. You, yeah. you don't want to DI in. But um, definitely really possible. I mean, Kuga was keeping it super close and competitive. I think um, he showed like an understanding of to respect Peach's floating distance and not like overextend on that. So he was playing pretty patient. Just gonna have to play a little bit more patient, honestly. Next mm -hmm. game. Yeah, I completely agree. It was a really good game on both on both players. But I definitely what you said it was something that oh, Kuga doesn't you know, kind get of. the Jair? Oh, let's go. <laughs> let's go. He he says like I can do everything with Roy, but Jair. But, but not yeah, Jair. Just, I'm so proud of him. Two, one. I love how like intense like, these two, two players are. They're they're such intense players to play against anyway. Yeah, no, definitely both of them like. Mm -hmm. I mean, like they, oh, they want to win. I'll say like they, they don't really go to a tournament just to like mess around. Like they, mm -hmm. they want to do good every tournament, which I really respect. Uh oh. For a second, I thought the player four, player four had a really good combo string going on uh, on Kuga, but just I kind of misread the what Kuga was going like Kuga's recovery. I believe he just jumped in instead of rolling in. But right now, both players are really even percentage, playing playing a little bit, a little a lot on the on the ledges at the moment. Yeah, and if you if you're Roy right there and you want to go for that roll read, I don't really agree with like dashing forward. You want to just stay stationary and let Peach come to you because because you dash forward and then F smash back, knowing with the F smash not kill, Peach was able to react and punish. So I think, uh, but good idea to position yourself after that down tilt. That's gonna be so crucial when killing Peach. Oh my god, I can't believe that she didn't um, hit Roy at all. That was really good timing on Kuga's part to not get hit by, Re by Peach. Um, I, I want to say it was uh, down tilt. Oh no. 
wake up spot dodge. Oh, and great grab right there. We haven't. I don't think we really saw Kuga grab much at all mm -hmm. last game. So mixing it up, it's so like almost everyone expects a second jab once Roy jabs your shield. It's mm -hmm. always such a good option just for other grabs. Yeah, player four is even the one who's using a lot of the grabs to kind of enter into a lot of his uh, peach combos. But right now, ooh, Kuga going off stage doing that fair. The tipper fair. Yep. <laughs> In order to take out player four's first stock, but he still has to be careful because he's him himself as a really high percentage. And player four is really good at kind of keeping Kugo off the ledge. And might th this back there might be able to take him out. Yep, it definitely is. Yeah, and that Roy Fair killing at like one like seventy or something. That's kind of a thing with Roy versus Floaties. Is like Floaties, um, the Roy like really broken early kill confirms. They don't last that long against Floaties. Like Jair and like down tilt tech chases and such. They're not as common. So. You'd actually be surprised like that even though these lighter these characters are lighter, they're able to move around Roy really well, which is why Roy mains kind of do struggle a bit sometimes in this matchup, even though it's not like bad or anything. Yeah, no, I definitely wouldn't say that he's like in like a severe disadvantage against Peach, you know. But there is a little bit of uh, some struggles he has to kind of adapt to and change up his plan in order to kind of um, work around with player force P uh, Peach. Oh. Oh, this might be it. Ooh. Oh no. And this is the last thing you want right now. Like you want to close literally, out the stock before like this happens. You literally don't want any any peach to do this this kind of combo to you because Kuku was at zero percent and he's now at seventy eight percent and just from that one string that player four was able to land on him repeatedly missing <gasps> Okay, good tech on player four's part. Could have been really death right there had he not tech that uh, on the on the stage. But right now, trying to take out that the, take out like the last stock from Kuga and honestly securing the whole set for himself, if he's able to do so. And if Kuga is able to take out the second half from player four, he's going to do a bunch of catch up. And oh my god. Oh, good he's saving good. on the jump. Mm -hmm. But yeah, no, that's what I was mentioning earlier. It's like with floaties, you just always stay out of the range of where Roy's like kill confirms are. Mm -hmm. and that up throw of killing actually kind of surprised that <laughs> I thought I wasn't going to kill. It's so weak, but good stuff. Oh, that's that's all you needed. I, I, I was waiting for it because I, I saw player 4 attempt the Z-drop uh, turn up earlier against um, Kuka when he trying to recover the first time. And Kuka had, had, had gone to the stage beforehand. But I was waiting because that Roy... Up B is just so, it's 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 a, vertically it's very short, and it only goes so long like horizontally. So being, being able to Z drop a uh, tu the tulip the turnip not tulip the turnip down mm -hmm. and completely knocking out his his jump and recovery effect. This is some a really smart move on player force part to really take out that stock as fast as he could. Yeah, no, it's it's so strong from Peach because Boom. as we see, like as we saw right there, um, and what we'll, we'll see what the last stock is. Peach can throw the turnip down to cover Roy like mm -hmm. in every angle the up B can do, except going really high. But the thing is, because Peach is floating right there, you can react to Roy going high and just fair. Mm -hmm. So as long as player four is on point, there was really nothing Redline could do, or sorry, Kuga could do in that situation.